48 hours away from Coach Tony Amato and the University of Arizona soccer team defending their turf, Old Pueblo style, in round one of the 2019 NCAA tournament. It all goes down this Saturday at 6 p.m. at the U of A's Mulcahy Stadium. It is the third year in a row Coach Amato and the Lady Wildcats have made it to the big dance. It's also the third consecutive year the Wildcats will be hosting a game. Arizona has 11 wins, six losses, and just one tie heading into the matchup against Texas Christian University. The Cats also beat TCU in the regular season 4-3. Arizona players told me this afternoon that their goal to make a big run in the NCAAs. The players have assured me they are licking their chops, counting down the moments to game time. I want to play it tomorrow. I wanna, I'm really happy it's a um, under the lights game. I really think that adds that atmosphere of um, playing at night, adds a really different factor to like what our team can bring. I know we always say like we play better at night, we play better at night. Um, so I'm just really excited. I feel like we've, we've had more than enough time to prepare for it. I'm really excited. You know, uh, we worked so hard throughout the season and during the spring and in the summer, especially uh, leading up to um, our games, you know, and I think that we deserve to be where we're at, especially hosting um, against a team that we've already played this season. I think it's a, it's a really good matchup for us. Hey, plenty of tickets still available. Meanwhile, the Arizona Wildcat basketball team is putting its number 19 ranking on the line as Coach Sean Miller and his boys host San Jose State. I'll have complete highlights tonight at 10. Hey, after the break, what are UMA football players saying about a potential quarterback controversy? Well, freshman Grant Gunnell and senior Khalil Tate are duking it out to be named the starter. We'll be right back.